And uh, my plan is to make this uh, multiplayer soon, so that we can all play together. And uh, yeah, a lot has happened in the last month. So uh, let me tell you about it. There's a lot more code, about four times more code, and most of it is networking and UI, actually. The game is quite different now. We have three screens. The launcher screen, where you can choose your nickname and your color. Um, and also, you can either create a room or join a, an existing room. Inside the room, you can choose how long you want the race, if there's any wind, and how much is the start delay, which is quite an important thing, uh, and if you want thermals visible or not. Uh, also, you can see the list of people that are in your room, and then you can press race. So the way a paragliding race start works is you have to be inside of the start box after the time has started. So at the moment, we are just waiting uh, for this number here to hit zero. And as you can see, for now, nothing happens because we, we have to wait for the start. So we want to make sure that the time we have available will stay as high as possible. Um, and there we go. Now three, two, one, we have to be inside. And you can see our start distance here started counting, which means we now are racing. And this gives uh, everyone an opportunity because if the race starts as soon as you launch, you know, not everyone can launch at the same time. And conversely, not the people that launch first um, get an advantage because if they can't find any lift, they're going to be starting the race lower than what you are if you were just stayed on the hill and waited for the right time. So you have to kind of look at the day and make your, make your choices if it's going to be worthwhile for you to launch or not. Okay, so now we're getting to the end of the race here with plenty of height and the idea is to get to the end of speed section and this is where the racing ends. So once you tag the end of speed section here, um, your timer stops. stops. So this is almost like your score. The, the lower your time, the, um, the higher up the ranking you are. And here you still have to make it to goal, but you can even tag there and, and tag the end of speed section like this and get your time and then take as much time as you want to get to the goal. As you can see, this is blue, so it's only provisionally your score, and that will be your final score as long as uh, you manage to land in goal. So if, there was, if you got here really low um, and you didn't manage to get into goal, then you would get a penalty. But let's, uh, let's imagine you, you, you come into goal just fine, um, and you land, and there you go. It's turned green, this is your final time. However, if, you're, uh, if you get to the end of the speed section really low, you can still tag it, but either you have to go back and find the thermal like this, uh, if you get lucky, or if you get unlucky, you might get some sync like this, and in this case, you, will, you would land uh, before the goal, and as you can see, it's now red, and you are getting a time penalty. So you can still finish the race by walking, um, but as you can see, that's going to be a much uh, higher time than if you tagged the end of speed section and then just landed in goal. Uh, and generally speaking, that's more or less how real paragliding competitions work. But, um, but yeah, I think in, in this case, it creates some really cool game mechanics. So let's see what it looks like with loads of people. Wow, with a lot of people, man. 11. Oh, look at that. This should be a good one. Oh my <laughs> god, this is going to be a crazy amount. <laughs> Look at this, what the hell? <laughs> but as soon as this starts going, there you go, I'm the first, well, yeah. Come on guys, follow me through the sink. Oh no. Look at everyone chilling out real quick. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> Pablo the hiker, the classic little hiker. Oh no, so ah, close as well. Really? It was there. You need medium amount of danger, not too much danger. Just a few meters. Uh, the strategy was good, Andre. Oh, look at Mark, quietly, quietly <laughs> racing ahead. Ooh, risking. Oh. Oh. Yeah. risking. I forgot yeah. to look at the glide required. Oh yeah, oh, me I too. I just looked now. God damn it. Meters. Well, we can hope that the two yellows at the bottom just just get screwed up. 
Oh, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. It's mine. Oh, boom. I think I got it. I think I got it. As long as I don't land, I think I got it. Yeah. Wait, maybe if it's a sink, I'm screwed. I'm fucked. Okay, I'm not. Oh. I, I've not got it. Wait, have I got it? <gasps> I've got it. <laughs> oh, wow. That was down to a hair's width. How long does it take from here to the start, I'm everyone? 15? 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I'm gonna go for 14. Because I definitely don't want to speed bar it. If we don't have to. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to do some... You know, I don't want to hike in this race, so... You gonna go for tactic B? I don't, I don't believe, believe you, Pablo. <laughs> You'll get impatient in two minutes and start. This is like the poker, you have to show different faces. <laughs> <laughs> it is really interesting how the leader of the pack influences everyone else. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or when you roll when you roll in the same thermal, but then as soon as one person goes, everyone thinks, Oh shit, should I go? Should I? Yeah. What do, what did they know that I don't know? So funny as soon as you see. I, I would love to speak to someone like Russell, you know, someone that does competitions all the time so that they could either uh -huh. play this or watch some of these videos and see if they see the same things like as soon as someone starts going up, boom, everyone else goes speed bar straight away, no hesitation. You can release a speed bar if you want. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Now Will uh, is going to overtake us because he's got well, the height. I try. God damn it. <laughs> well, this has to be. This has to it's be. It so has yeah. to be a thermal. Has to be a thermal. Come oh. on. Did I overcook it? I overcooked it. No. No. Penalty for me. Oh. Well, Will, you had to turn back. You had to catch in and turn back because you had the height to do it. Yeah, the that how it works? So you, you reach EOSS and that's your end time, but then you still have to get goal to yeah, clock your yeah, time. Exactly. Yeah. So that's it for this one. If you want to play the game, it's available on our website. The links will be here and here and in the description. You can try it yourself or I highly recommend joining the Discord so you can play with all, all of us together. Um, actually, I want to say a huge thank you to all of these lovely people on Discord that came and played with us, the various versions and looking at bugs and talking about new features and also all of these lovely people on Patreon and YouTube memberships for supporting the channel and videos and projects like this. And uh, I think that's it for this one. Um, hope to have more updates soon. Um, leave your comments below, see what you think, if you find anything interesting in the game, and I'll speak to you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, it's going right. to be interesting. The, the rest. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. no. Why? 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 Oh, and there's another one. Oh.